All right, it is late September here. Uh, things are staying wet during the day. Our temperatures are falling, and we're getting a very heavy dew at night. So uh, you can see the leaves are just starting to fall. Uh, change a little bit. That's going to ramp up significantly in the next month. Um, but it's been a while since I cut. You can see I'm taking off quite a bit. Probably just at the one-third rule. So I'm cutting about uh, three inches. And the grass is probably just over four. But wanted to give you a bagger update with my simplicity here. I've got the 38-inch two-blade deck with just the standard uh, bagger without the power impeller there and the, uh, the discharge chute. And this grass is very wet with some leaves mixed in there. And I have to say, um, I've cut quite a bit so far. I am not going full speed, probably half speed, but I have had no problems um, plugging. So on a, on a previous episode, um, I've detailed this beggar kit this year pretty significantly. And originally, um, I did not have the baffle that runs in front of the deck and the bagging blade. And cutting wet grass in spring, I had some plugging issues. But I can thankfully say that since I removed, I received and installed the bagging blade, so you just replace the large one, and then the addition of that baffle in front of the deck, I have had not, I have not had any plugging issues, which were showing up at this point right here in the in the chute. It would get a buildup in there so things are working quite well i'm very happy with it I got my takeoff cleaned up here, but then I went to lift the flap to put it on and noticed this uh, deck got uh, proper plugged up all the way into the deck here. There is uh, this crossbar, which I've noticed is loose. Um, so I don't know if there's a bolt that fell out or a weld that failed. I've got to fix that. I think it's a, a weld that actually failed here. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> that runs across the opening to stiffen the deck because it has a pretty wide opening, but that creates a, a catch point here um, for grass and that. So anyway, got that cleaned off. Doesn't It's uh, pretty... Pretty mucky on there, so after this one, maybe if I get some time between mowings here, I can take this deck off, clean it all up, um, spray it off, and, and uh, take a look at fixing this bar here. All right, I think I'm going to do the rest with the bagger off because it's uh, away from the house and that, and I don't really need it. So... Interesting. I mean, like I said, there is pretty good buildup in there from from previous mowings, but but still not perfect. It still plugs up. Uh, so 
anyway, not terrible. It's uh, slightly better than average. Let's say that. <laughs> Folks, just finished up mowing here. As I said, very difficult conditions in late September here. Quite wet. Um, wanted to get at it though tonight. It's just been pretty humid. We're getting very heavy dews. Plus, I'm trying to keep up on watering to get my grass here on the uh, trenching I did to grow the new grass on the trenching I did for the uh, Clean ground irrigation system to grow. So I'm left with very challenging conditions, especially to use the bagger. Um, I did plug up once. It did it did pretty darn good for the most part. I switched to side discharge um, after that just to, to finish up quick. But you can see, as always, the simplicity delivers a pretty amazing cut. So it does not disappoint, you know, when you're done. Kind of sucks having to get off and, and unplug it. Unfortunately, that's just the reality of, of pretty much every bagger system. I've run into, I even had a John Deere, an older John Deere LX188 uh, with the PowerFlow bagger system, and I was still able to plug that up. So for what that's worth, all that extra complication and noise from that PowerFlow system did not guarantee a, a uh, plug-free experience. But anyway... You can see I'm pretty dirty, even after dealing with that when you're done. And it looks like this it, uh, still is a, a pleasant experience. So the other uh, beautiful thing about these uh, conditions is it makes a mess of the mower. So I got to get that cleaned up and deal with that. But otherwise, got another mow in. Thought you guys would enjoy uh, or could benefit from real world testing of this bagger system. If you're mowing wet grass, it can still, bag, it can still plug up on you. I think if I was going slower, I was kind of pushing speed there the more I went. So how much faster can I go without plugging? And just reach a point, probably three quarter speed that I did plug up. But uh, otherwise, still happy with it. Things are going great. Adiós.